clip guys, today I'm going to be uh, showing you how to make a COD 5 modded ISO disc for uh, Tempest Siege and modded Zombies and modded Co-op campaign. So, programs you're going to need is GX360, WX360, and Image Band, pretty simple. Um, and these are the uh, files you're going to need to uh, mod it. Um, I'll put links in the description for all of them. Uh, Alright, so our uh, first thing, what you want to do is you want to get an ISO. Megaflowed has them. Um, they're, yeah, they're all over the place. Just Google um, ISO, whatever. Um, and just extract them right here. And you're going to get two things like that. Once that's done, you want to go to ABGS360 and uh, take that file, open it, launch it, and that will run through it and make sure the ISO is okay. Right, now you're going to go into WX360. And uh, you want to get the ISO in here. That in there. Alright. First thing that you want gonna want to do is uh get fault exe and extract this to the desktop. Alright, I already did it so um desktop right here. Um next thing you're gonna want to do is go to code post. Right here. I'm gonna take this and hit replace file and replace it with the modded file that is on my desktop. Alright, right here. Replace that with those things on. Alright, next thing you wanna do go to Nazi Zombie. Prototype.ff do the same exact thing. Place it. Yeah. Alright, that's all set. Wait till it's done. I'm gonna want to go back to default.exe. Alright, track file. Desktop. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, you're gonna want to replace it with the file from your desktop. Oh, Alright, that's done. Okay, once that's done, you want to exit out of that. Now, uh, then you want to go into ABGX360. Get your ISO in here. Alright. Now you're going to do this and you're going to get an error message at the end. If that you want an error message, um, because you, you've modded the file. So, um, I'm going to pause the video and I'll come back when it's done. Alright, I'm back and as you can see, it says, uh, it says stealth was verified, but game data wasn't that good because you modded it. So, um, Clearly, it's not the right game to get rid of. Add some modded files in there. Alright, once you do that, you're pretty much all set to go. You need to go to image button. Put this code up. Alright, right. Image file for disk. Um, to do that, you're going to go to tools, settings. Um, then you're going to go to write. And you want to change to use specified and put one nine one three seven six zero. Put that in there. Alright, hit OK. Uh, write speed two point four. Copies one. Verify. Always verify. Uh, that's pretty much you putting a blank disk, which has to be eight point five gigs. 
and um, go here. It says um, you really want to put in this one. If you put in the wrong one, it fixes it anyway, so it doesn't matter. But once you do that, it's pretty much all set. You just write it to this, and then there you go. You have an ISO. Uh, so you could host uh, modded zombies, call campaign, and um, Tempest Thieves Lobbies for Call of Duty 5. So um, I'll put directions for the mods in the description, as well as all the links for all the websites to download the programs and the mod files. So, uh, alright guys, thanks. See you later.